So, you've installed so many mods that you literally cannot install anymore. But that won't stop you, will it? Today we combine some plugins together to make room in your very stable load order to add some more. Welcome to Gamer Poets, and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. You've already installed it. It's a part of Z-Edit, and you've already followed my installation video. I haven't watched your stupid vi WATCH THE VIDEO! Setup. Open Z-Edit. Select Z-Merge from the Application drop-down. Start Session. At the top right, Edit Settings. Integration Settings. Select your Mod Manager. MO2 users also select your instance. Mod Manager Path. Select the folder to the right. Navigate to and select the folder that your Mod Manager is installed to. Select Folder. Mod Manager Mods Path. Folder icon. Vortex users, select your Mod Staging folder. If you don't know where this is, you can find it from within Vortex. Mods. Open. Open Mod Staging folder. Copy the address bar. Go back into Zmerge and paste it in. MO2 users, select your mods folder. By default, this is in app data. Select the address bar. Type percent app data percent. Push enter. Select app data local mod organizer. The folder of the game that you are creating merges for mods. If you created a custom path, meaning your mods folder is elsewhere, you can find it in MO2's config menu under the Path tab. Everyone, for the next step, click within the Mod Manager Mods Path field. Control plus A to highlight all. Control plus C to copy. Merge Settings. Click within the Merge Output Path. Control A to highlight all. Control plus V to paste in the path that we just copied. It's the same one. Activate Disable Plugins. OK. Z Merge is ready to go. Before you start merging mods together, you should probably know some answers to these questions. Let's keep it simple. You don't need to memorize this. Come back to the video and refer to it as needed. When to merge. When you hit your 254 plugin limit and you still want to add more mods. When you are modding games that have ESL file capability, but your remaining mods are not able to be turned into ESLs. If you don't know about ESLs, if you care to, watch this video. What not to merge. If you are not at your plugin limit, don't merge anything. Close the program. Stop it. Don't merge mid playthrough. Do all merges before starting a new game. Large mods. While they can be merged together, giant land masses, entirely new lands and quests, massive lighting, weather, magic, and perk overhauls, these are the most likely to cause issues. Save yourself the headache and avoid them when possible. Frameworks and Resource Packs Mods that are required by other mods to work. The unofficial patches are a good example. Many mods use the unofficial patch as a master file. Those mods won't work if they can't detect it. If you merge the unofficial patch, mods that require it to function won't be able to detect it, because by merging it, you turned it into a new mod. Don't merge mods that have .dll extensions, like these. Script extender mods all use .dlls. Leave them alone. Lastly, ESL files can be merged, but they don't count towards your load order limit. Again, don't create work that isn't necessary. So, what should you merge? Most mods can be merged. Just keep this one sentence in mind. The simpler the mods, the better. Keep it simple. Merge mods of the same type. Armor mods with armor mods. Weapon mods with weapons. Animals with animals. Merge mod-specific patches together. A final example of mods that can be merged. While you should avoid merging mods that are masters to others, you can merge masters in very specific situations. Say Mod A puts a new building in the game. Now, Mod B puts a chimney on that new building. Mod C makes smoke come out of that chimney. And Mod D adds windows to it, or whatever. 
Mods B, C, and D all require Mod A as a master file. They make adjustments to it. They can't make those adjustments if Mod A doesn't exist. Well, if you merge A, B, C, and D together, everything works because it's all there together. A problem will only occur if you later add a new mod to your game that makes a change to Mod A because that new mod will not be able to detect it due to Mod A already being merged together with other mods. I hope that made sense. And some final quick tips. Test out your game each time you create a merge. Make sure everything works, venture forth. You can always delete the merge and reactivate the files that were initially deactivated, returning things to how they were before you ever use this tool. Are you ready? Let's do what you came here for. Create merge. Name. Put something here that makes sense so you know what it is. I plan on merging a few armor mods together. Armors that don't exist in the vanilla game. Mother added armor. Good enough. File name. Has auto changed based on my merge name. You can change it, but there's no need to. Merge method. Clobber. Try the other method later, only if you have issues. Plugins tab. Select the plugins that you want to merge together. Load order. Green plugins are good to go. If one is red, hover over it and a tooltip will tell you what the problem is. If you want to hear about potential issues and resolutions, harass me to create an advanced video. Preferably on my Patreon account. Data. Plugin data folders. As Vortex and MO2 users, this is auto-filled. Bethesda Archives. If this tab exists, Archive Action should already be set to Extract by default, and that's what you want. And as with the archives, everything else in this window is auto-set to what it should be. You really have nothing to do here. Just a side note, general assets are mainly for mod authors. Leave it alone. So, details, plugins selected, select OK. Build merges. When the merge is all done, X out the window, relink scripts, close Z merge. You're done. To create more merges, rinse and repeat. To make the merge active so that you can actually use it, MO2 users, refresh the app. Your merged mod appears in the left pane. Activate it. Your merged plugin is now in the right pane. Everything that was merged into it has been auto-deactivated as it should be. Don't delete them. Vortex users. Close Vortex and reopen it to refresh it. Open the Mods tab. Activate your new merge. Deploy mods. Leave the other mods alone. If you open plugins, you can see that the ESPs, which are now a part of my merge, were auto-deactivated. There's nothing more to be done. You did it. Thanks for joining me. Z-Merge is ready to go. Yes, I'm wearing boxers, and there's a hole in the middle. Go away. <laughs>